Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a quick rooting tutorial on the channel. Every tutorial I have seen for how to root the Google Pixel, or not the Google Pixel, you can tell I work with Google Pixels too much. Every tutorial I've seen for how to root a Microsoft Surface Duo 1 is overly complicated or tethered for some reason. So as you can see here, this tutorial by, I'm not even going to try. Does Fastboot boot with the patched IMG? Which there's no reason to do that when you can just Fastboot flashing unlock and you're good to go. And actually your bootloader has to be unlocked for this to work. This method is not really needed. So from there, there were other tutorials on how to do this. Like, uh, where did I see it? Root Guide by NT Christ. Oh, I get it, NT Christ. Anyway, um, again, this is how to download the payload, patch the boot image, and then flash the boot image. And do all this ADB shell stuff that is just not needed. So I wanted to go through and show you the easiest method to bootloader unlock and root a Microsoft Surface Duo 1. You don't need to do any of this stuff because, thanks to Jenga Master G, we have TWRP for the Microsoft Surface Duo 1. Orange Fox Recovery also does exist for this device as well, but this method does not work with the Orange Fox Recovery. So, we're doing it with TWRP as much as I don't like TWRP anymore. So, first thing you're going to need is obviously the ADB install on your computer. This is the best way to do it because it'll install it system-wide. You want to download the 1.4.3 version because that's the best uh, version that's out there. And then, once you actually have it downloaded, you want to get the platform tools from actual Google's website. Download this. Take the zip file and extract it to the ADB folder and just overwrite everything. Because this is the most up to date. This is the uh, mm. This is the best way to get the drivers as well as it installed system wide. It's the easiest way. So you download this, run the installer, and then once you've ran the installer, close the installer, download this, and just copy and paste everything from here to that zip file. Why am I in Russian? I don't know. Anyway, so once you have that part of it done, you want to download TWRP from right here. And I actually need to move that. Uh, oh, I already did. Wait, where is it? TWRP, where'd you go? Give me one second. I'm going to re-download it for the sake of the tutorial. All right, I got TWRP. So anyway, once you have TWRP, you have Magisk. You want to rename Magisk from... When you get it from GitHub, you will see it's .apk. You want to get it from the official releases. Rename it. You can either right click and select rename or just rename it and rename it to dot zip. So from there you can do ADB sideload and it will correctly install and recognize the file and install the file. Also you want to have your TWRP. You do not want to flash this. You just want to boot it. So we're going to go over that. First of all, you want to, um, on your device, sorry, I need to get a new uh, screen recorder. But you basically need to enable developer options and you need to enable OEM unlock. Once OEM unlock is enabled, you can do ADB devices. You can see that your device is connected with OEM unlock. You'll get a pop up on the screen that says, hey, is that computer allowed to do this to me? Um, it's a little creepy, I know. You just want to hit always allow and then it'll do it. And then you can do ADB reboot bootloader. You also want to make sure your device is fully up to date. So do not do this on Android 10. It will not work. You want to make sure you are on Android 11, the most recent update. Once it reboots, you will be in fast boot uh, or the bootloader. So if you want to know if your device is recognized right away, you can do fast boot devices. My device is recognized right away. But sometimes 
it will not recognize devices right away. And what you need to do is you need to come in and you actually need to... Where are you? Seriously, where is it? Uh, let me find it real quick. I am freaking blind. So sometimes it will not recognize it right away as an Android bootloader interface. It'll be under this other devices, kind of like this is with the little yellow triangle, and it just won't know what to do with it. It'll be named something like just Android, or it'll be called Surface Duo, or it'll be on my Razer phone. Sometimes it just so shows up as Razer. You want to actually right-click it, go Update Drivers. Let me pick from a list, and if you did the 15-second installer that I showed at the beginning of this video, select Bootloader Interface, hit Next, and you're good to go. Now. We are in the bootloader, you need to bootloader unlock. So what you need to do is type in command prompt, fastboot, flashing, unlock, and hit enter. For me, if I hit enter, it's going to tell me I'm already unlocked, this is pointless. But pay attention to the screen on your phone. Uh, fastboot flashing unlock will unlock the device. You have to tell it to unlock the device. It'll reboot and erase everything. Do not forget that. It's going to erase everything. So do a backup if there's stuff you care about. Once it reboots, let it fully reboot, go through setup, enable USB debugging again, and boot back to the bootloader. And the next thing you want to do is fast boot boot TWRP. You can actually drag and drop stuff to uh, CMD. I forgot to put a space though. And then just hit enter. You don't want to flash it because Frankly, these things are very touchy. Um, my previous Surface Duo is a complete brick. It is stuck with not allowing me to flash any partitions. I can't create partitions. It's broken. But I got a second one, as you can tell. So this video is able to happen now, which was kind of the plan all around. Touch does not work in this TWRP. So you have to do everything from the command prompt or get a USB-C to USB-A and plug in a mouse. That works. Touch does not work. So you, unless you can get a mouse to work or the touch screen to work on this or if Jenga Master G updates everything, hell, I guess I could even learn how to compile this. It's not that hard. I have a MacBook, I have a Linux computer, and I have a Ubuntu install on a VM on here. Um, you want to do everything through here. So do ADB devices, make sure it recognizes a device in recovery mode. From there, you can do ADB shell TWRP sideload. Now, it says sideload doesn't work. That's a lie. If you do it this way, it works. So what you then do is just ADB sideload, drag and drop your magisk. Let me see. Does it tell me it's in side load? I don't know where it goes if it's in side load. I was going to show you that it's in side load. But then you hit enter, install Magisk, and then once you are done with that step, I'm not going to do it again because I already did it, you just do ADB reboot to get out of TWRP. Oh, wait, ADB reboot system. If you just do ADB reboot, it's just going to reboot you into TWRP. <laughs> but now that you've sideloaded um, Magisk successfully, once you reboot, just connect your phone to Wi-Fi, click the Magisk stub, and allow it to download the full Magisk manager installer, and you're good to go. If anybody tries to tell you that you should use an old Magisk, don't listen to them. The newer Magisks are just as good, if not better, than old Magisk. So anyway, your device is now fully rooted. Congratulations. That's the easiest way, and I can't wait. You know, maybe I'll take a look at compiling TWRP, and I'll hopefully make a TWRP for us. But I am planning on doing a debloat script using root of deleting a lot of the Microsoft crap and just installing um like gboard and things like that with the script because there's a lot of stuff on these phones that are just bloat that i don't want and 
I feel like everybody could benefit from a debloat script for these devices. So, the coolest thing too about a debloat script is the Microsoft Surface Duo Android is actually very close to AOSP. Like, I'm amazed at how close Microsoft got to AOSP with their released device. If this thing was a little bit more open and uh, not so easy to brick, <laughs> I would definitely look into ROM development, but until somebody has an official ROM, I'm not flashing ROMs on this. So, anyway, that's how you flash TWRP, the most up-to-date 25.2. This tutorial should work beyond 25.2. Um, if anything changes, I can remake it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.